It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. You're tuned into your feel good breakfast show. This is Express Only on SABC3. We're talking indoor plants at the moment, and we all know that plants add a very crucial natural element to our living spaces. They improve air quality, they create beauty, and even a sense of calm. Now, CEO from Executiflora, Robbie Strain, joins us in the studio this morning to tell us a bit more about the benefits of indoor plants and how to look after them properly. Well, looking after them, I have a little confession to make. I only buy plants when my mom comes to visit to give it the <laughs> idea I can keep things alive but how can I really look after my plants well the most important aspect and most people actually love their plants to death uh, so the most important aspect is watering okay. uh, and I, I would refer to uh, something I call the finger test where you just literally put your finger into the soil if it feels moist there's no need to put any water in mm. obviously if it's dry just to add water in and uh, but not to to drown the plants yeah. um, a little trick for orchids, because orchids are very uh, popular at the moment. So you go into most shops and you have these beautiful flowering orchids. Uh, again, the most important thing is light. The brighter the environment, uh, the more longer the, the uh, petals or, or the blooms will be out. And uh, watering, a little trick there is what's called ice cubes. Uh -huh. So you'll probably put about four ice cubes a week and the, the ice cube just slowly melts uh, and releases enough water for it, not over watering it. So wow. the little trick. I like that. Very yeah. interesting because I've always, you know, orchids are one of those kind of plants that really scares me to look yeah. after because they, <laughs> they're sensitive plants, you know. Yes. So I like that. Very cool. Now, here's an interesting one. I've heard about this concept of repotting. What is that exactly and how would people kind of, you know, go about it? Well, actually, that's more uh, for your exterior balcony uh, patio plants. Oh, okay. And basically, the, the repotting there is uh, the plants will, will slowly get uh, root bound in their pots. And you can either plant them up into a bigger pot where there's more soil, mm -hmm. uh, or else you can actually unplant them and uh, trim your roots and then repot again into existing pots. Okay. okay. And then, uh, you know, we are going, seasons are changing. We know mm. that we are going mm. from summer into winter. Yes. Do we need to prepare our plants for that transition or does it happen naturally? Well, the beauty is that we're in a controlled environment. So, uh, again, if it's exterior, you need to have your um, plants which are able to handle the different seasons. We mentioned earlier the tropical yeah. plants, and uh, so they are geared to pretty much an indoor controlled environment, so no need to worry. Okay. Mm. Lots and lots of advice, I love it. So, uh, Robbie, how can people kind of get in touch with you guys? Should, you, should they require more information about you know, setting up maybe a display like this in their own spaces at home? Well, I'll just say the key area is just to go to our website, okay. um, and we have all the information on there. There's a lot of images of work which we can do or have done. So our website, uh, I would say, is the first starting point. Okay, that's executiflora.co.za. Yes. And I see you guys also on Facebook and Twitter, Absolutely. which is great. Twitter at executiflora. Go check that out and get some great gardening advice. Thank you, Robbie. Really wow. appreciate it, man. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. That's Thank you it. so much. All right.